Welcome everyone. Today we're gonna make camarones a la diabla. What that translates to is to spicy garlic shrimp, I guess. But the actual name that it would translate to is um, deviled shrimp or shrimp deviled style, which just is just saying that it's gonna be spicy. So here I have a uh, chile de arbol. This is the spiciest one gonna put that to reheat I'm gonna use the same pan to cook the shrimp too then here we have um, chile California and chile guajillo and then I also have some chipotle in adobo sauce chipotles are just like smoked jalapenos and and sauce and they're really good add a lot of flavor so I'm using a variety of chilies you can use whatever you like essentially as long as you use some red chilies I won't be mad at you red dried chilies and re rehydrate them let me actually get um, the cutting board out so I can do the rest of this. I'm also going to prepare some rice, some white rice, and then some like potatoes and onion on the side. And yeah, that'll be what we're working on today. So I'm just going to cut these open, get the ribs out and the seeds. I'll leave the ones for the, um, the chile de arbol in there. No problem. And yeah, we'll take it one step at a time. Okay. This knife out. And a cutting board. Just, just gonna cut it open. Yeah, I'm just gonna take out the insides. Devein your chilies, remove the seeds, and you're good to put in there. And then we're gonna blend this up with some some onion, some tomato, and some garlic. Some fresh onion, fresh tomato, and fresh garlic. Actually, I'll boil the tomato as well. <sighs> Let's see, let's grab a tomato. Probably do two. Two tomatoes. These two are fine. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Try to cut these up. Nah, you know what? Since I'm boiling them, I'm not gonna cut them up. Let those do their thing. Meanwhile, let's cut up the onion and potato and let's get this rice started too. So I'm just gonna do like a cup of white rice. Nothing crazy. Yeah, just a cup of white rice. The rice is good with this dish because it soaks up all the juices. It's a little bad for the um, for the shrimp and the sauce to come on, like stick to. Just washing my rice. Since I'm not making Mexican rice, I'm just making a white rice. I'm gonna do it this way. If I have some any frozen veggies in the fridge, I'll probably just toss them in there too. Okay. And two parts water. I'm going to do a little bit over two parts. One. Two. There you go. I like putting hot water to get the cooking process started early. See if we got frozen veggies. And I don't think we do. Let's see. Anything I could chop up in there. Oh, I can chop up some carrot. Dice up some carrot to throw in there. Add some veggies into it. Thank you. 
let that come to a boil. Let's add the seasoning already. And make sure I'm actually filming. Yeah, I'm filming, cool. Nice big spoonful. Cut off these ends. Just peel this up. Rotate these chilies, make sure they get submerged. Let's see. Peeler. Dice these up so it cooks quickly with the rice. Turn on that that down a little bit. Cutting it small so it cooks up much quicker with the rice. I like throwing carrots or corn in there. Probably one of my preferred things. Since I actually have fresh carrots, I'm gonna do this. There you go. Give this a mix. Gotta perfect the salt in there. And let it come to a simmer first. Actually, I can just turn it very low and cover it and let it do its thing. Okay. Now we're going to make the sauce. Time to blend this up. Get the blender out. Okay, now the rice is cooking. Uh, my shrimp, I got it from frozen, but you know, shrimp cooks pretty quickly from frozen. So I'm not too worried about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these rehydrated chilies in here. Cool, let's grab, this is a much onion and garlic. Do those three pieces in it today. Okay, let's remove the skin. Move the end part and cut it up a little bit so it'd be easier to blend. Quarter onion goes in. Tomatoes are still cooking down. I'm going to cut the garlic. Just remove the skin. Remove the woody parts on the edge. You can do like two garlics if they're large. If they're small, you can do three. Actually, you can do it however you like. You don't have to follow my exact recipe, but try try it. Just try your thing. Use mine as a basis and. See what you can come up with, that's what I recommend. Okay, 
get this out of the way. Just clean up my area. Add some more wahio powder that I actually here have here because I got plenty of this stuff. That's good. Some peppercorns and some Nora Bouillon seasoning. Boom. Fresh peppercorns. thing okay we're gonna add about half of this chipotle in there and the rest I'm just gonna freeze it in a ziploc bag and use it for future dishes this is gonna give it a smoky flavor And that looks good to me right there. Okay. Let's put this away. Just throw it in a Ziploc bag. Get the air out as much as possible. Less chance for freezer burn. Throw it in your freezer. Wash your hands. And those tomatoes should be good by now. Okay, there's some boiling water. See if I'm gonna be able to actually pour this in without burning myself. I did it. Excellent. I'm gonna have to pour that water out in a second anyway, so, so I can get cooking the shrimp. Okay. Let me knock the rest of this down. Let it do its thing. Probably right, done with this. Gonna need some potatoes. Shoot, I shouldn't have got rid of this. Alright, that's good to go. Next up is to cook some shrimp and dice up some potatoes and some onion. Or cut up some potato. I'm not gonna dice it. Okay. Pour this hot water out of the way. Move my glass. I don't want it to make contact with my glass. Okay. There we go. This is good. Fill out the shrimp. A little bit of olive oil. Get this back up. Pan's already hot a little bit. Just gonna cover the bottom layer with shrimp. And then add some salt to this. That's looking good to me. Put away this. Yeah, this, this shrimp is great. You can just cook it from frozen.
Add your salt. Whatever seasonings you want to use. I'm going to add some cumin on this too. That'll be good. Some garlic powder. And I'm happy with that. Let that do its thing. Okay. Meanwhile, let's get some potatoes ready. Keep my potatoes in like a brown bag, as dark as possible. Okay, let's see. Knock off some of this dirt. And I'm gonna peel it. Okay. So peel the top first and the bottom, and then it makes it so much easier to peel. Maybe you guys can't see it that well from there, so let me do it up here actually. So, peel the top, peel the bottom, a little X mark, and then now your peeler has something to hold on to when you start from the top. And if your potato has any of these eyes, on the side you have a Thing that you can actually pop these eyes out and there you go I'll give these one more little quick rinse I'll clean off my cutting board right, let's cut up these potatoes I'm gonna probably throw these in the air fryer. Yeah, probably in the air fryer would be great. I'm gonna start these first and then I'll throw the onions in. Cause these need more time to cook than the onions do. So let's actually get the air fryer preheating a little bit. Air fry. There's no option for potatoes. There's option for fries. Yeah. Preheat it. Get this out of there. Start. All right, do your thing. Move these out of the way a little bit. Okay. Potatoes are always a great dish. They're always welcome at my house. There we have it. I'll go get me an onion. Oh, feels like this onion might already be going bad on certain parts, so. We'll check it out in a second. So see this shrimp? Mix it up a little bit. I mean, you could defrost it. It's optional, but I've had no problem cooking it from frozen like this. because it's such a thin protein it cooks so quickly and the way that they freeze it is like this flash freeze so they're not all clumped together they're all kind of separate which makes cooking it from this like really really easy so now I will add the hot sauce into there
and let this simmer now. Almost like chipotle shrimp, you could say. And all this sauce is gonna get soaked up nicely into the, the rice. Smells great already. I like rinsing it out a little bit just because it makes it so much easier to clean if I do that from the start. Okay. Oh, you know what? I want to get this coated in some oil. So this is what I'm going to do. I like putting them in deli containers, my potatoes. Or anything that needs to get oiled up, put them in here. And since it's going to be at a higher heat, it's at 400, I'm going to use avocado oil. Grab a lid, shake it up, and then we're going to toss it in. Just so the oil gets nice and incorporated everywhere. Probably put the onions in here afterwards too. There you go. Look at that sizzle. Looks great. Okay, let's work on this onion. Like I said, I feel like this half right there does not look good, so let's see. I see it looks fine, yeah. Okay, I was worried about nothing. Okay, so I'll cut these up. There's a sm quite a small onion, so I'll probably cut up the whole thing. I'm just gonna cut them into half moons, I guess, since I already kind of have them in that shape. In right here shrimp is bubbling up should be ready soon just because I don't want to overcook the shrimp either don't need that okay There you go, got the onions for it. I'm gonna do the same trick. That way they get nice and oiled. Put them in here. Doesn't need too much oil since there's already some in there. When it's time to flip them, I'm gonna toss them in there. But I'm also going to, I don't want the um, onions to fall through the cracks. So I'm gonna put some foil paper in there as well. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose a lot of onions to the bottom of that air fryer. Which has happened to me in the past. Let's see, I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. Seems like it's pretty low. Yeah, really low. This is good to go. Probably turn this off in a second. All right, guys, it seems like most of the prep is done. I guess I'm gonna have to pause it and I'll see you guys once I get some action. All right, see you soon. All right, we're back. Potatoes have been in there for close to eight minutes. See how the rice is coming along, it's looking good. Potatoes are coming out pretty good. Just gotta move them around probably should have sprayed the bottom with some oil oh we got some stickage but it's not too bad okay so like i said i want to cook the onions with this but i don't want them to fall through so that's where this comes in i'm gonna go ahead and add these right here good thing i didn't lose any 
I tend to do that with potatoes. Oh, I lost one. Okay, so now we've got our onions here. And there we have it. This way, I don't lose anything. Okay, pop this back in there. Let those onions get cooked up as well. Shrimp's good to go. And I'm gonna get back to washing dishes. All right, I'll see you when this is done. Welcome back everyone. The potatoes should be good by now. I'm gonna pull them out and go ahead and salt them. Um, just gonna make sure I got enough space right here. Cool. Good thing about this foil is that I can just bring them out like this. And I'm just gonna add my favorite meat seasoning to it. Shake this up. Normally I would do this in the... Oh, I don't try this. Ooh, hot. Mmm. Lost some more to the floor, unfortunately, but... Add a little bit more. Throw this one out. We'll normally just toss them in the air fryer, but again, I don't want to lose any onion to the bottom, so decided to go about it that way. Move this out of the way. My rice should be ready too. The shrimp's been ready. So, can't wait to eat. Oh. Here, put that right here so it's not on a cold surface. So here we add our potatoes. Put them in this bowl. There you go. Let's check up on our rice. Yeah, this is good to go. Finally getting my water ratios right. All right, let's serve myself a plate. First things first, the better rice. For the shrimp to land on. But I think I'll leave it off to the side. And then some potatoes. Everything on this plate pretty much is just to help soak up all this sauce. So. Here we have our camarones a la diabla, our sh deviled shrimp, spicy garlic shrimp, a chipotle, chipotle shrimp, however you want to call it, my friend. But it's good, it's good stuff. All right. Let's get a thumbnail. And let's try a piece. I always like saving the main thing for last, so let's try the rice. Ooh. Hot, but good. Potato with some onion. Hot. Always a solid choice. Let's try the shrimp. Mmm, hell yeah. Oh, let's try it with the rice and the shrimp sauce. The hot sauce. Ooh, now the potato with the hot sauce. And, and a shrimp. Alright, this was a great dish. You guys gotta try this. Alright guys, enjoy your day.